Hello and welcome to The Timberland Investor. Sometimes if you're doing any sort of forestry work, or maybe if you're just curious about trees on your property or in a local park, you might want to measure the height of a tree. There are many ways to do it. You can use complex trigonometry, you can get expensive equipment that can measure the height for you with laser and sonar and all this other fancy stuff. But my favorite way to do it, and probably the most accurate, involves nothing but a stick. And maybe a 100 foot tape. Let's get into it. So in the interest of not wasting your time, I'll tell you exactly how you can do it, why it works, and then I'll demonstrate it for you. So to begin, let's, uh, let's start off with how exactly you do it. First, you're gonna wanna find a stick, any stick will do, and you don't even need a special length, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hold it at eye level, almost like you're poking yourself in the eye, but obviously don't do that. You're gonna hold it arm's length out, making sure that it's relatively level with your eye. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it up at a 90 degree angle, look at your target tree, line up the top, I'll back up a little bit here, line up the top of the stick with your target tree, making sure to hold it level with your eyes. And then once the top of the stick is visually aligned with the top of the tree, the distance you are from the base of the tree you're looking at is the height of the tree. It's that simple. Now let's get into why it works. All right, now to explain this, I have a little whiteboard here. We're gonna take a little trip back to uh, high school geometry, if you can remember that far. Okay, so first off, we have the representation, a very bad representation, but bear with me, of what we're doing. We're holding up a stick at eye level, and the length of the stick is equal to the length of your hand from your eyes. What that's doing is it's providing control so you assure that these two sides of a triangle are the same, they're equal in length. And if you recall, the internal angles of a triangle must always equal 180 degrees. So we know that this angle is 90, and if these two sides are identical, then each angle must be 45 degrees. Now what we do is when we're sighting that into the larger tree, is we're essentially just uh, controlling that angle. We're controlling that 45 degree angle, really just one, that's your eye to the top of the stick, to the top of the tree. And by controlling that angle 45 degrees, we're also controlling this angle up here, which is uh, the bowl of the tree down to your eyes. So we still have 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 45 degrees, which means that from here to here, your distance from the distance from the tree uh, and then also the hypotenuse are going to, sorry, <laughs> the opposite side, the uh, height of the tree are gonna be the same. These two sides are going to be the same in length because the angles are the same, right? So it's really that simple. Another thing to keep in mind too is um, you're actually sighting in from eye distance. So whatever you get for that answer, you might wanna add on whatever the eye height is. So for me, um, I'm six feet, so probably, you know, five feet, five and a half feet probably work. So if I were standing 20 feet from the tree, um, I might tack in uh, 5 feet, 25 feet to get a total tree height. So uh, let me demonstrate that for you. All right, now unfortunately every tree in this stand is pretty tall. So for the interest of a, a good camera shot and uh, you know not having to move too far, I'm going to choose a smaller tree, which is uh, this one right here, small sugar maple I believe and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate how this works. All right, so like I said, you have your stick, you are holding it arm's length out, you're holding it to your eye, fully extended, and then you're flipping it up. And you're matching the top of the stick, let's see if I can get this here. The top of the stick, visually, with your eye. So actually, I got that pretty good on camera. It's, it's hard to tell the difference between uh, the treetops on camera, but uh, that's the top of it right there for me. So I'm looking down, 90 degrees, and then up, All right? So what I know is that the distance I'm standing is going to be, uh, the distance I'm standing from the tree is going to be the height of the tree also, plus my eye height, all right? So the next part is I have to measure where I'm standing right now to the tree. And there are two ways of doing this. The preferred method is pacing. Uh, pacing is if you know 
the distance of each step you take, or rather two steps, then uh, you can just walk it out and that will give you a rough estimate of uh, you know, how far you are from that tree. For me, my pace is about 5.3 feet, so every two steps I take is 5.3 feet. I can use that to determine um, how far something is from me pretty easily. The other option, of course, is you have your 100 foot tape and uh, you can measure it out ma manually. And that would be a bit more accurate, but uh, sometimes you have to ask yourself how accurate you need to be in this sort of a situation. Um, so I'm gonna pace it out and uh, then I'll figure out how tall it is. Okay, so start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just about eight. All right, so I got uh, eight paces. My paces are about 5.3 feet. So that means the tree plus my eye height, it's about 45 feet tall, which I'd say, yeah, that checks out. That's probably a 45 foot high tree. Um, so that's really all there is to it. It's that simple. Of course, like I said, uh, there are other ways of doing it. You can use a clinometer and get a precise angle and then do some trigonometry. Um, they also sell devices that I can't really remember if it's laser or sonar. I think it's sonar. Um, but uh, they cost about a thousand dollars, so they're pretty pricey, and you can stick a, yeah, it's a sonar puck to the side of a tree and um, then shoot a laser. Maybe it's a mix of both, I don't know. Either way, um, you can shoot a line up to the top of the tree and to the puck on the tree and it will give you a height. Those, honestly, while they're expensive, they're still somewhat labor intensive. They're definitely faster than this method, but I think more importantly, uh, they're really not all that accurate. Uh, when I was cruising with one of them, we would maybe do three takes with it, and it was honestly plus or minus 10 feet, maybe on a good day, seven feet, but they're really not that accurate. This, because it is based on solid trigonometry, even though it's kind of pre-calculated for you, the method of the stick is going to be uh, more accurate and probably easier, to be honest with you. So it's my preferred method of, of measuring the height of a tree, and it's accessible to anyone. You don't need any special equipment except for maybe the 100 foot tape to measure it out manually. But um, yeah, I'd recommend pacing it out. And I haven't, I don't have it up yet, but I'm hoping to do a video on pacing and how to determine your own pace pretty soon. So it might be worth taking a look in the video description and uh, seeing if I have that up yet. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's how you measure the height of a tree. So happy measuring. Until next time.